bicycle courier. Well, I'm a cycle courier. I am bicycle courier. I'm a cycle courier. I ride a bike around central London in ever increasing circles. We cycle between 40 to 80 miles a day. Delivering packages, all kinds. Anything really, what fits in our bag. For very little money, but for a lot of fun as well. I love the job, it keeps me going. I see different things all the time, different places every day. I hated being in an office. I wanted to ride my bike all day. It's not for everyone, it's dangerous. Sweaty, dirty, hard work, exhausting. We are carrying a range of things from very important legal files for courts to checks valued at a lot of money, Rolex watches, to people's keys when they're locked outside their homes. The craziest thing I carried is probably a full length wedding dress that costs £25,000. An ironing board. Diamonds, other people's organs. I work for City Sprint Healthcare. We go between all the major hospitals in central London. It feels good to be part of it. You know, when I deliver like urgent chemo, you know that it's going to go into a sick person really soon. It's going to help them get better. So you're part of that little chain that's helping people. I've delivered to Buckingham Palace. Videos to the pornography industry, in fact. 10 Downing Street. The quickest way to get between them is by messenger. I delivered 50 grand once in cash to Coots Bank on the Strand um, and that job paid me two pounds to get it there. Like everybody else, I'm a self-employed courier. I'm subcontracted to City Sprint. I get paid per job, not per hour. I work about nine to ten hours a day. We can choose our own hours, but if I didn't show up nine to six, I wouldn't get many jobs. Companies control the whole situation. They are undercutting each other all the time. Because there's no regulation and because it's like a free market competition system, companies come up with super cheap services. They might give a slightly cheaper price to the client, but they just slash the wages of the couriers. We work like we're full-time employees, but we don't get sick pay. We don't get holiday pay. We don't get pension. If I'm in an accident, the ambulance will come. The package gets taken off me by another courier. The goods are insured, but I'm not insured by the company that I work for because they will say I'm not employed by them. So right now the money is so meager that it's just enough to eat, pay rent. You can't set anything aside for emergencies like this. The industry needs to change because apart from anything else, if you want good employees, you have to pay them fairly. We deserve to be paid properly for a service which is necessary to the city. They're walking this weird like knife edge between what they think people are gonna work for and the fact that actually people are desperate and they, they totally exploit the situation. They ask and want loyalty, but they're not willing to pay for it. It's not about working harder anymore. The cost of living in London has gone so high that we just need a pay rise. It's really as simple as that. The fact that our rates haven't gone up in decades is enough time to see that companies won't raise our rates for us. I think we need a union to win us higher rates and fair working conditions. Maybe we're going to actually have a say in how our industry is run. Yeah.